Okay guys, I've got both the Huawei Mate 30 Pro and the iPhone uh, 11 Pro uh, Max and we're using the front facing camera. This is recording at 1080 um, 30 frames per second because the Huawei goes to 1080 30 frames per second uh, for its front facing camera. Just walking down, you know, catching some of that rays for the weekend. We'll of course be switching the audio between both. So you can hear how audio sounds on each device. And uh, yeah, now I'm walking towards the sunlight. Let's start this video. Oh, so starting off with the front facing camera, you can see the iPhone does a really good job here, keeping my skin tone and also uh, giving some just nice bokeh effect around the image. Now the bokeh effect on the Mate 30 Pro is okay, uh, but you can see it's really, uh, it's really dulled down my image and making me look much lighter than I look. But this is not something that is totally uh, systemic of the Mate 30 Pro. As we move over to this image, we see here that both cameras have kind of failed with the front facing uh, uh, shot where we are facing direct sunlight. The iPhone has saturated this, uh, at least my face, not the image, uh, and trying to compensate with what the uh, sunlight is doing while the Huawei basically has just gone the opposite direction. Bokeh is nice on both, but I think this is just a nice example showing you that, yeah, you can still have some failures here with these kind of cameras. Uh, this next shot here is where the Huawei does a better job, but now it's now making me more red. Uh, like I've been out of the sun for a little bit and the uh, iPhone has got a much better balance overall. Uh, I do, I will say though that the Huawei is a better shot on my shirt. That's the exact color of my shirt while the iPhone isn't. So again, it's back and forth, but the bokeh is really nice on what the iPhone has done. And I think the iPhone image is still overall better than what the Huawei image is for the front facing camera. So looking at the shot at direct sunlight, the Mate 30 Pro does a really good job of just highlighting the buildings. It's much, it's a much better image than what the iPhone does. iPhone is, is nice, but the Mate 30 gives just detailed texture to the image. Though the iPhone just captured the sun a little bit better, uh, but I definitely love the image from the Mate 30 Pro. Just very, it's a very vibrant and punchy image, but also really clear and sharp. Now, when we move over to the wide angle lens, uh, the Mate 30 Pro image is much punchier, but also gives you more detail and I can see more. Uh, and it's going over towards the yellow hue, if you will. While the iPhone is a bit flat uh, in terms of this hue and also it's darker in certain locations. So I can't see the backyard there, but the, the iPhone wide angle lens is much wider. It gives me a wider berth, but I can't see as much as I like to see. Now, moving over to the uh, shots at night, this is using the AI mode of the Mate 30 Pro. The iPhone image is brighter. Uh, it is a brighter image than the Mate 30 Pro image, but the Mate 30 Pro, I think, is sharper, and I can see more details in the background of this image, so the, the bottles at the back and things like that, but I think both images are good. Now, this second image here really shows you the difference in lighting philosophy. iPhone adds a lot of light to this. It feels like there's an extra light source where that candle is, while the candle representation on the Mate 30 Pro is much more to accurate point. And the image, I, I prefer the image on the Mate 30 Pro because you can still see the color texture of the watch and also keeps a really nice tone. But the iPhone image is definitely brighter. Here's a shot outside and I like what the iPhone has done here, a much brighter image uh, as opposed to what the Mate 30 Pro AI mode here has done where the, um, the, the item in the, in the image here on the iPhone just as brighter, the whole scene is brighter compared to the Mate 30 Pro, which is bright, but still feels like you're shooting at night. The iPhone has just more light coming in, or at least it feels like there's more light coming in uh, towards the right, filling up the space. Now this shot here is one interesting shot because this is a really dark scene, and I like what both cameras have done. They highlighted the tree well. They also showed the uh, the leaves uh, quite accurately. I do like what the uh, Mate 30 Pro has done with the berries, or at least the, those things that look like berries anyway, on the trees, highlighting a bit more, and also the fence itself has a bit more texture to it than what the iPhone is doing at this point. Now, this is uh, these couple of shots are just showing all the different lenses. This is the main lens on both cameras. 
the iPhone is moving towards the yellow hue while the Mate is going to much more of the lighter or at least the whiter uh, spectrum. And both images are good. There's really nothing wrong. I think this may be a bit more of a preference. I do like what the Mate 30 Pro does because it looks, certain parts of the images like the buildings in the foreground look really brighter and I can see those buildings. I can still see the lighting in there as opposed to the darker look on the iPhone and then of course the yellower hue all around the image. Now when we go into the zoom lens, this is a 2x zoom for both devices. Again, same, same concept. The Mate 30 Pro is making it brighter so the image the buildings look brighter and then the background with the New York skyline also is brighter and it's trying to sharpen that but it's a little fuzzy both of them are trying to do it uh, I would say the Mate 30 Pro image is better because there's less uh, uh, this is brighter there's less uh, fuss and also the images are clearer now wide angle lens this is where Apple completely failed for whatever reason and there is no night mode in the wide angle lens but you guys can clearly see here uh, the Mate 30 Pro gives you it's you know wide angle shot not as wide as the iphone but you can clearly see everything in the image this the iphone shot looks like it's taking a nice shot in darkness and showing you some lights in buildings if there were no lights in those buildings we wouldn't see anything in the shot so the mate 30 pro has done a really good job in that image now i added the night mode shot here for this and this is of course uh this is manhattan bridge we're looking at a couple of images here. The iPhone does a good job in highlighting the bridge. Uh, the underneath texture is, is a bit visible. Uh, you can see the lighting across the bridge. Everything looks good. I do like that image. The AI mode on the Mate 30 Pro, I think, is much sharper than the iPhones. You can see the ripple effects of the water. You can also see the lighting on the bridge, but underneath the bridge is not as visible. It's actually rather dark compared to the iPhone. I do like the light, the night skyscape on the AI mode here. Now the night mode, I think, is the best image of all three on the Mate 30 Pro. Uh, it's much brighter in all scenes, so underneath the bridge is clearly visible. Uh, you can see all the lighting across the bridge as well. Uh, you can see the ripple effects in the water. It's not as intense as the AI mode, but I think this image really captures the most of all three. But again, really solid images altogether, and I, I'm impressed with what the iPhone has been doing with this night mode. Now we have a photo here of Uncle Danny, and uh, he's standing here. Uh, this scene was actually really was was dark. I would say it's pretty dark in general. And as you can see with each image here, they all they've all brightened the, the scene up. So you can clearly see Danny um, standing up there. You can see his shoes. Uh, they come out well. The iPhone is going over towards the yellower hue. So what you have here is that Danny's skin tone has a little bit more saturation, and the leaves also have more saturation to them. While the uh, the Mate 30 Pro is going to much to the, to the wider hue, so it's a little bit more flat in terms of color uh, and the uh, Mate 30 Pro night mode really brightens up the scene. If you look around Danny's legs in the iPhone, it's a bit darker. You can see the, the shadow kind of cuts in through. The AI mode is a little bit brighter and the Mate 30 Pro night mode is the brightest and really highlights. So you can see the different stages of each image and what they do with actually um, lighting. But I'm quite impressed. I think all three do a good job um, and you will not be remiss by using anyone. I think the, the night mode on the Mate 30 Pro is a little bit better, but it's still quite solid images across the board. So we are so recording, we are recording here, here for K60. K60. Again, Again, the same, same path. path. So, so, so similar. similar. And, and, you know, you're okay. Okay. and you can see it's it's different, different between your color, color saturation, saturation stabilization, of course, of course, and, and uh, uh, what uh, uh, both cameras, cameras do. do. And of course, of course audio, audio switching, switching between two. two. And then and we're going to run. 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 Not what, not like, what, like, sap, 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 Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Now we're going to run. Now we're Yeah, yeah. So that was so a that was a run.
three, two, one, go. So looking at both images from the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the Mate 30 Pro, uh, they do a good job in night mode, while the iPhone of course does a much better job with portrait photos during the daytime. But night mode I think is where of course we focus more on this video, that they both do a really good job. The dedicated night mode on the Mate 30 Pro I think is a little bit more enhanced and you can get better photos from there. But if you're an iPhone user and you're picking up the 11 Pro Max, you are doing very well. And if you're an Android user and you want to step up to the Mate 30 Pro, this is definitely a solid device for, uh, of course, night mode photos. Now, both cameras have extra features. You've got slow fees for the iPhone, basically slow motion photo uh, videos on the front facing camera. And the Huawei Mate 30 Pro does um, 7,680 frames per second slow motion, which is insanely good uh, for you know anyone who wants to do slow motion photography or video. Well guys, there you have it. I think both are really solid cameras and I want you to tell me what you think in terms of uh, photos you've seen in this video. Who do you think is better? If you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and Always enjoy your entertainment.